Qantas Wallabies number eight, Wycliffe Palu and, and Cliffy um, training just as hard as always. The the new camp started off the same way the last one seemed to have finished. Yeah, it is, mate. It's a bit like uh, you know preseason all over again. So um, no, it's been a pretty tough couple of days, but the, you know the boys are working pretty hard and enjoying it. Yeah. I guess the uh, break at the end of the Tri Nations almost came at the wrong time for you. You were just sort of getting back into it again. It got back into the Test 22 after a fairly injury plague season. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I was, I was started the back end of the Tri Nations. I started to feel pretty good, but uh, you know, on, the, on those couple of weeks off, I, you know, I tried to um, you know keep working at it, and now I'm uh, you know feeling feeling pretty confident and uh, yeah, I'm pretty good. And I guess after the, the last 12 months you've had, really, with having to come home early from the tour last year with the shoulder injury, you'll be looking forward to to getting a full tour and, and getting getting plenty of game time. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I was disappointed to come home early, um, you know, last year, and I think we're going, um, you know, pretty good there. So, uh, you know, I think this year, um, you know, definitely, I'd be trying to, um, you know, end the, end the season on a good note. Yeah. Sure. And obviously, the first stop on the tour is Japan. And I understand, Mark Gerard, your cousin's already been giving you a few pointers on how to handle yourself up there. What's he been telling you? No, I've just been hitting me up for tickets all the time. So, uh, you know, those, those tickets are pretty expensive at the moment. But, uh, you know, definitely, uh, you know, it'd be good to catch up with him, and uh, you know. Go go sightseeing and stuff like that. So, is he enjoying Japan? Yeah, by the sounds of things, he is. Um, you know, I think it's a bit hard, but I think his family's here at the moment, and um, you know, I think he gets a lot of time off, so he's, he's always flying back and forth. Obviously, one dynamic of being up in Japan with a lot of Australian players up there, there will be a chance to uh, catch up with them all. So, there should be some good support for what the Wallabies at the National Stadium in Tokyo. Yeah, definitely. I think there's a lot of expats over there at the moment, so uh, you know, uh, hopefully, hopefully, they come out and watch and give us uh, you know plenty of support. I guess obviously the Bledisloe Cup's gone for another year, but I get the feeling this is far from a dead rubber, particularly after what happened in Wellington for the Wallabies. Yeah, definitely. You know, you don't want to, you know, in, in, in the, you know, Bledisloe encounters like that. So, uh, you know, definitely the boys are going to be, um, you know, up for it this time. Yeah. Have you have you noticed any damage to the confidence at all that that Wellington performance has done, if if anything, or has it perhaps steal the resolve even more? I think it's still the resolve even more, you know, I think, um, you know, it's disappointing uh, straight after that, but I think the boys have moved on now and, uh, you know, looking forward to, uh, you know, the next game.